the United Nations continue to be outdated, biased, waste of taxpayers' money, and at times, corrupt. This is about the treatment of uh, Christians across the world, treatment of Israelis and Jews, especially when it comes to Israel. This is actually the Israeli ambassador exposing the idiocy of the United Nations, the globalist at the UN, by doing something absolutely brilliant. Watch this. But you know what? I have an idea. If you want a real ceasefire, here is the right address. This is the phone number of Hamas's office in Gaza. You can all call plus 970-599-3765 and ask for Ichya Sinwar. Tell Hamas to put down their arms, turn themselves in, and return our hostages. This will bring a complete ceasefire that will last forever. So why are you not doing this? Why are you not holding Hamas accountable? Ironically, today is the United Nations International Day of Neutrality, the day on which the UN reminds itself to be an impartial mediator in de-escalating conflict. Ignoring the war crimes of genocidal terrorists on today of all days, this body further proves its utter irrelevance. What a disgrace. But the, U the UN's International Day of Neutrality. <laughs> It's like when they have uh, um, get committees and uh, some sort of human rights groups for women, women's rights, and then they get the Iranian regime and the Taliban to be in charge of it. When they get uh, the free speech organizations and groups and committees to be headed by people like Justin Trudeau, and it's just completely nonsensical. The whole thing is a circus run by clowns with vested interests. And it's time for people to actually tell the truth like the Israeli ambassador, like these guys. Why is it that we can't get this sort of robust response uh, and statement from our own British politicians, ambassadors, diplomats, or whatever? We can't have it because they're all in it. They're all fine with it. They're all happy with it. They give, they've given their consent. They don't want reform. They don't want anything new. They don't want change. They want to keep their own club for themselves because that is keeping the stability of the system. The stability that's not really helping ordinary people up and down this country and around the world, including ordinary, innocent Israelis in Israel. This is the problem with the whole system, as we call it, the, the, the consensus, the, the world order since 1944-45 onwards, especially since 1990. Things were supposed to become much more peaceful. That was the whole point of the United Nations. That was the whole point of all these organizations. What happened to it? Stagnation. Lack of growth, lack of free speech, democracy is at risk. This is what we're dealing with. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.